Oh, what the hell are you talking about? You're, you're just drinking water and eating nuts? No, no, no. That, that's nuts like on that, your chin? That, that's my meal replacement. I'm, I'm eating small meals like salad, wholesome food like chicken. Frozen fish. So you're actually Frozen. eating food. A it's little not bit. A, crackhead. a little bit. Not a lot. Mm. Just to keep the muscle. Just enough to keep the muscle. You have to eat food, Jason. I'm eating some food, but I'm, I caught the crack in the Did like you hear? What, did you hear what Lenny said about Gideon? He said, "You must win the game of the knife and fork in order to grow." Yeah. Those were his words to Gideon. Yeah. You can't just not eat anything. But see, your problem is you like to eat fucking garbage. That's why I'm trying to stay away from it. I'm trying. I'm really working hard at it. You really are working hard. Huh? I'm trying my best. That deserves credit. I'm really working hard. To give you avoid that shit. Fucking credit, because you look like shit. Shut up! Shut up, I look a lot better. Shut up, it's Since You look the same. No, I don't. Stop it, bro. I'm not the Hindenburg anymore, that's gone. 240. I'm ready to compete. I'm ready to compete. You got, what is it, four months? Uh, about four months, yeah. I'm competing yeah. no matter what. I competed in 2010, I looked, I looked in the same condition as I do now, so I'm ready to get better. Shut up, you damn trolls. Both of you guys, I'm putting in the effort, I have I have the balls to step Everett on. Does, Everett doesn't mean shit. You have to. You have to. I have get to compete big. because of Lenny. It's making me compete. I have oh, no because choice. Of Lenny. I have no choice. No choice. Because Lenny. He, because of Lenny doesn't want to finish in last. He's having. He's making Jason compete. I have to. Right? You mean that loudmouth guy Lenny? Huh? That loudmouth guy Lenny? Yeah, the guy yeah. that challenged me. He should. No one should ever challenge a person if he's not serious. Never. We all know Lenny's full of shit by now. That's that could be a dangerous thing to challenge somebody if it's not serious. You had a look in your eyes that I would not want to see. You know, at a bar at two in the morning. Let me tell there's, you. There's always a bar stool. <laughs> always a bar stool. Big and I'll tell you what. I've known Todd now here for a while. I saw a look in his eyes that said. This man ain't playing. What's going on now? He's what? upping it? I think he said he's putting on 225. Yeah. He is? I said best day I get the best day I get is probably 200. Well, I think it's the best day, so you should do it. Yeah, you're pumped. Dude, pumped. you just nailed that. You're angry. You're pumped. Do it. Do it 200. You know how he does that kind of workout? Look, okay. Anger. Ah, That's the only time he works out is when he gets mad. Retest. And who gets him angry? I'm not gonna do this asshole. <laughs> I don't even know. Asshole number I won't one. Even this shit a name. Male prick right here. <laughs> ah! 95 for all There was Brad Pitt, and now there's Brad Prick. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, that's Brad Prick. Thank you. I'll take that. Title. Jason, I think that's you should. Right. I think compliment. you should get a picture of Brad's face tattooed on your arm. And every time you want to we work out, wrap, we should wrap a couple donuts around the bar. Just look, just look at the tattoo, and you can get angry and get a good workout. Easy, 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 easy. What are you, what look at that you? intensity. One, puffing, puffing. He, he, he looks. He's got the same face that you had when Lenny uh, confronted you, man. <laughs> That's some scary <laughs> shit. Ah, ah. Oh, shit, Lord. Woo. Push. Easy. Oh. Oh. Hey. One more. Animal. Animal. One more. One more. Come One on, don't mean shit. It's two. Two and a quarter. One is the warm up. Two that is the. <laughs> One is the warm up. Two is the real yeah, shit. Yeah, buddy. Next time I'll do 205. I promise. How bad do you want it? 205. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. Come on. Get all worked up here. Take it easy. Ma master motivator, Andrew, over here. Coach Andrew. You know what did it, Andrew? Andrew, you know what did it? When you said Team Gideon, that's what got him angry team too. Team Gideon. There you go. Oh, he's still my favorite, but Jason, you're second. Yeah. Now you gotta, when you get it up, scream Gideon. <laughs> this will be impressive. For all the haters. This one's three. Come on, Jake. Oh, oh. oh, Jesus. There you go. You got it. <laughs> you balanced it. Fucking animal, dude. Now let me see you do it on a tightrope. <laughs> Balance yourself on the ball. And but, but, yeah, That's sick, bro. That, that was some circus shit right there. I know. Oh, now go jerk yourself off because you lifted a lot of You lifted a lot of you once. Hey, listen, you're good. Hold on. He's good for two weeks now. He don't have to work out again. Yeah, that's it. We'll see him weeks. for another week. Yes, that's it. He's done. 
He was ready to leave the gym too. Then all of a sudden, you guys started talking a little shit. Second win. Just keep my legs. You know what it is? You have to get you angry. How's the uh, how's the double jointed shoulder today? Good, good, good. So it's all right. Yeah. It's a very it's, it's a very rare disease, right? It works though. <laughs> I understand that some viewers wanted to talk about Bruce Jenner. Sure, why not? No, it's Caitlyn now. It's no more Bruce. Hey Brad, why don't you come over here? We're, we're about to talk about Bruce Jenner. Oh. Hey Brad, I'm trying <laughs> to look like you see if it more, works. More fucking publicity. It's all about money. That's he, he's, he's your perfect type now, right? What are you putting that fucking, grease in your hair for okay. now? What's up with that? It's, it's your mother's jizz. Z05. Is, is he dating men? Is he dead? You know what no, I mean? No, he said he's still like me. But that's Lenny's ideal chick. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Brad, we had a discussion yesterday. 65 years old. The yeah. greatest that's athlete all, that's in the world that's 40 years ago. The greatest athlete in the that's world. What they, that's what they mean. And why would you demean yourself like that? You know that? the president chimed in? Like everybody chimes in right away. He how gets brave a call, yeah, for how brave he is and congratulations. Yet uh, some cop that gets shot, they don't say a word about it. <laughs> Same with that Michael Sams. I want to congratulate your bravery. The priorities are a little well, fucked up. Are you going to give me a call, Mr. President, if I get my dick chopped off under this weight? Actually, they said Bruce Jenner still has his dick. He's still intact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he is I ideal for Lenny now that I think... Type, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but if he still dates women, I mean, is he going to have his dick chopped off or no? It's not dark enough, right? I talked to a group of guys yesterday. Jay was in there and I was. And they were saying they should just, just disband it. Because the private... Uh, couriers do a much better, more efficient job. Bullshit. Bullshit. So, That's total horseshit. No. Yes. What, so yes. what would you do so you're right if it disbanded? Oh, you want to be, you want to privatize everything. No, I'm a common sense man. You know, it's called uncommon sense because it's not common. You fucking jackass. And why do you walk around with? Uh, why do you walk around with your we, we shoe came to, We came to a conclusion that, that the you're reason you're that you wear those post office shorts is you want girls to think, oh, I got a pension. I'm game. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was a big, we had a group. It was like the meeting of the minds. The meeting of the fuck yeah. You meeting like one mind between ten of you. Meeting of the <laughs> <laughs> fucking jackasses. Meeting of the morons. I in think this exactly. gym. Brad, we're getting you to got, you. You got no clue. We're getting to you. No, you don't get to me. Huh? Shit doesn't bother me. Shit does not bother me. You can talk all the shit you want. Okay. How much VO5? To, check a look at that slick back here. He loves I thought it's 1956. When it's I like an it, SS yeah. haircut almost. Like that, right? Yeah. You're just right? jealous because yeah. you can't grow any. <laughs> well, he can. It's just in one spot in the back of his head. Yeah, exactly. Patches. Uh, Patches and grow wool in Lenny goes to Supercuts and asks for the Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Very Voorhees. Where's your boyfriend at? Where's, where's uh, Motor City Moron at? <laughs> where's he coming? Huh? I thought he was going to be Motor here. Motor City Moron. <laughs> His girlfriend's got him by the cock and balls. You won't let him go. <laughs> I'm gonna finish you off, you fucker. Right? Isn't that what he said? He couldn't come. One time he had to run out on her. Right in the middle of pounding her. He had to run out. <laughs> Just to come here and film. And then I wasn't here. Yeah. Heard on top of that. There was an explosion here yesterday, Brad. You oh, care yeah. to elaborate? Oh, Jason. Yeah, yeah what yeah. happened? Jason threw a little temper tantrum. Because we do? told him he's looked the same for the last six yeah, Jason, years. Jason had a meltdown yesterday. And then he, he uh, shoulder pressed 205. Well, he's shaking like a leaf. Th once. That I filmed. That's one a, rep? That's how to go in this video. What's that? High, high intensity, a new level? No, you're one set and one rep. Whoa. There you go. Go ahead, Lenny. Talk to her right in front of her boyfriend. Lenny, ask her urine. The wigger? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lenny, ask her if she's, ask her if she's pregnant. <laughs> yeah, when are you going to start becoming black fucking Lenny again? July. Uh -huh. You think I'm dark now? You ain't seen nothing yet. And that's nothing. Yeah, that's gonna really help. That's why we were saying yesterday, that's why you want Jason to compete no matter what, so you don't get last. <laughs> it's not about getting last, it's being who's the most the biggest and the most ripped. For what? Gets the most For what? hits. What do you get out of it? A fucking hundred dollars and a stupid ass fake trophy. What is it worth? All that fucking shit. What, what is, is those worth? tattoos worth? What do you get I out know, of I that? Gotta, I gotta I gotta count it up. <laughs> Which one of your male oh, idols did you? copy those tattoos off of because quite frankly I see a million guys your age with them care to elaborate on that no. mr. vo5 <laughs> I heard you went and bought stock well, in vo5 I'm, I'm glad you got some sleep today now you I didn't I actually got two hours sleep oh.
I was on the toilet most of the night. Why is that? Well, were you licking the inside of it? What were you doing? I was doing a heavy duty. <laughs> like, a, like a dog, he's drinking out of the toilet. A heavy duty colon cleanse. As you can see, my waist is getting trimmer and trimmer. Yeah, the stomach doesn't look as distended today. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's coming out. I'm sure the judges will be very impressed. Yeah. But you didn't, you, didn't fat, you didn't fatten up this time. I can't get fat anymore. And there's a few theory reasons I think I can't, and I was eating more calories than ever. Tapeworm? I hope not. <laughs> I don't eat sushi. By the way, I was wondering for some posing, you know, can I use that VO5 that you put on your hair? <laughs> sure. Yeah, give me want, a nice where sheen. Where do you want to put it? Your hair looks like a... I love it. Like I love it. It was it's just... fucking great. This is Jimmy Johnson, everything in place. Yeah. You like that, right? Oh, yeah, that's Jimmy nice. Brad, Jimmy. Just, Jealousy will get you Boy, I can tell with the... You just you called see. it the Jimmy Johnson view. Brad just right. can't take it. He just... Oh, I love it, man. I like Brad, it. Brad can take it. Brad could always take it. It's, it's just very few funny. give it like to him. and Jay say funny shit. Jason calls me a strawberry sandwich. And thinks Look at your funny. jugular thing. It's like popping out of your neck. He picks a random word and calls it. <laughs> or a random That's animal. Like he'll call you a giraffe or something. It's really strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I want to on a serious note. Yeah. I'd like to recognize Montreal, Canada's finest. And I'm not talking about the Canadians or the Alouettes. I'm talking about Christina Broccolini, her oh, here, birthday. Here we go again. Monday, yeah. June 8th, Monday, June 8th. Since my tablet's down, if all you misfit maniacs could get on her webpage and wish her a very happy birthday from Big Lenny, I would appreciate that. Because she's my inspiration. <laughs> Cuts. Looks like something out of a, like one of the pet shop boys would have. Last place, here he comes, last place. Where I'm really getting to you today, aren't you? I wasn't expecting a, a rip on Brad and make Brad shake and his jugular vein pop out. Okay, so uh, every now and then I actually do read the comments on YouTube. They're just way too many to keep track of. But somebody asked me to read something to Lenny, and I'm about to do that, and I will get Lenny's response. This is from Raphael Metzger on YouTube. And unfortunately, some of the message got cut off, so I'll read what I can. Lenny, are your ears open? Hey, Mr. Metzger. It says, Andrew, please address this to big, fat Lenny. Comparing his shitty-ass workouts to fucking war. Really? You have no fucking idea what war is, you demented fuck. You come to the gym, do half ass rep, and get to go home to your little shitty apartment with uh, air conditioning while soldiers are fighting in combat with a gun. And just maybe they get to live for just one more day. They don't have the privilege to say blah, blah. Then it got cut off. So I apologize for that, but Lenny, floor is yours. Let me tell you something, Mr. Metzger. You're right on a few of your points. But number one, I don't have air conditioning. Number two. That must, that must suck. Number two, the majority of my workouts aren't on film. Are you addressing your fans? I'm addressing a misguided individual. I, I do appreciate You calling the somebody misguided? Well, here's the bottom line on the war. <laughs> Number one. Glass houses, right? Let yeah. me tell you Talk something. Talk about misfucking guided. <laughs> I'd, go, I'd go to war in a second. Gulf War, I volunteered, whatever. I was in the military before I got a discharge. You know, they, they won't accept me. But the point is... Friendly fire. I'm not like... People that go to war, what, is, what benefits am I going to get out of it? You know, the pension or whatever, military benefits, no. So I'll go to war in a second. You heard that right now. And I'll go to war with you. You want to go at it? And you know what? Another thing, what war? You call that a war over there? That's not a war. You go in Vietnam or Korea, when you got a million Chinese coming up a hill, He got this for trying cold. to blow the drill sergeant in his sleep. <laughs> That's a war. That's when they still didn't allow gays in the military. See, so you, you remind me a lot of Brad. You, you, join a, you join a job as a pension to have your easy little life. But you know what? I don't believe in that or Social Security. Oh, I'm struggle because I'm a big dog. Yeah. He wants to sit around and watch football and drink beer and do his shitty workouts. And let me tell you something. If, if there's combat, I'll be the first in line. I'll lay my life down for nothing. Go straighten your arm out, Leonard. 
Your workouts have done you real good, buddy. And, and another thing, I mean, I'm at war on the home front here. There's more subversives everywhere you speak. And I'm talking about the public school system, the post office, all your government functions. Everybody says get a good government job. For what? What is your ultimate goal? Is that what you like being a sheep? There's a sheep over there. A sheep. I'm a wolf. He's well, a sheep. According to Jason, I think he's a goat or a giraffe. Oh, I'm the giraffe. Never mind. He's a goat. <laughs> So, M M Mr. Mr. Raphael, which isn't in any kind of American name, I don't know what kind of name that is. You can tell by your liberal upbringing. Don't tell me about war, and don't tell me about pain. Because I have a different mindset of life than you. You filthy moron. Get your ass in here. I'll show you what war is. Fucking coward. You don't got the guts to come in.